Imagine a fighter jet that's not only an extension of the pilot, but also a semi-autonomous partner capable of analyzing complex battle scenarios in real time. That's the promise of the sixth generation fighter jets. Crafted for stealth, speed, and agility, these jets redefine the strategic game of air warfare. But what makes a fighter jet sixth generation, and how do these marvels of technology stand out from their predecessors? Unlike the fifth generation, which focused heavily on stealth and sensor integration, sixth generation jets take these capabilities further. They enhance stealth to make detection even more challenging and use adaptive engines for superior efficiency and performance. But that's not all. Equipped with advanced artificial intelligence, these jets can make split-second decisions and potentially operate unmanned. These advanced aircraft are being developed under the umbrella of the Next Generation Air Dominance NJAD program. Initiated by the U.S. Air Force in 2020, it evolved from DARPA's 2014 Air Dominance Initiative, which emphasized the need for a comprehensive suite of technologies to achieve future air superiority. The primary motivation behind this ambitious project is to develop a family of connected air warfare systems that can dominate the skies in future conflicts. This includes everything from manned fighters to drones and other supporting airborne assets. Its goal is not only to replace aging jets like the F-22 Raptor, but to revolutionize air combat with an adaptive, versatile, and effective system. Let's have a look at the broad range of proposed specifications for a sixth-generation fighter craft. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. And now, let's go on. At the heart of the NGAD's advancements is the development of adaptive cycle engines. What makes these engines truly stand out is their ability to switch modes in flight, offering optimal performance across different flight conditions. Traditionally, fighter jet engines had to balance between being fuel efficient for long-range missions and powerful enough for high-intensity combat. This meant compromises either in speed, maneuverability, or fuel efficiency. However, adaptive cycle engines change the game. They use a sophisticated design that allows them to toggle between modes that enhance fuel efficiency and others that boost power output. This is achieved through a technology known as variable cycle engineering. The engine can adjust the amount of air that bypasses the core versus the amount that goes through it. During high thrust scenarios, like a dogfight or quick ascent, the engine can direct more air into the core for maximum power. On the other hand, for long range cruising, the engine increases its bypass ratio to conserve fuel. The result? These engines can support the fighter in sprinting to supersonic speeds when needed, and then switching back to a fuel-sipping mode for cruising, without the need for external fuel tanks. This not only extends the operational range, but also preserves the stealth characteristics of the aircraft, as there's no need for external fuel pods that could increase radar visibility. Moreover, these engines are designed with multiple fans and varied air intake methods, allowing them to adapt their performance based on the aircraft's needs at any given moment. Whether the jet is taking off, cruising at high altitudes, or engaged in combat, the engine can recalibrate to provide the best combination of speed, efficiency, and power. Shifting focus to stealth, the NGAD program integrates a comprehensive suite of technologies designed to minimize the aircraft's detectability across radar, infrared, and acoustic spectrums. One of the primary goals is to minimize the radar cross-section, which involves designing the aircraft to deflect radar waves away from the source rather than reflecting them back. This is achieved through smooth, angular surfaces and, notably, the elimination of vertical stabilizers. Such designs significantly decrease the number of surfaces that can reflect radar signals, making the aircraft harder to detect. Further enhancing its stealth capabilities, the NGAD fighter incorporates advanced radar-absorbent materials, RAM. These materials are crucial as they absorb or scatter incoming radar waves, reducing the likelihood of the fighter being spotted by enemy radar systems. This technology is continually evolving, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in modern warfare. Infrared signatures present another detection risk, particularly from the heat generated by the aircraft's engines. To combat this, NGAD uses sophisticated cooling systems that manage the heat emissions of the engines and exhaust systems, significantly lowering the aircraft's thermal signature. These cooling technologies not only prevent the fighter from being detected by infrared sensors, but also help preserve the engine's lifespan and efficiency. 
Acoustic stealth is also critical, as the noise from an aircraft can give away its position. The NGAD fighters are designed to have a reduced acoustic signature, utilizing technologies that mask or cancel out noise. This makes the aircraft much quieter, further complicating detection efforts by enemy forces. Lastly, the NGAD program is exploring radical new airframe designs that contribute to stealth. Without traditional stabilizers and flaps and utilizing thrust vectoring and advanced flight control systems, these fighters can achieve remarkable maneuverability and stability. Innovations in design and digital testing allow for these sensor-evading profiles, which maintain the aircraft's low observability across various conditions. One of the most groundbreaking developments in the NGAD program is the shift in cockpit design. The latest renderings show smaller, more streamlined cockpits to improve aerodynamics and reduce radar signatures, a critical factor for maintaining stealth. However, this design limits the pilot's ability to physically see their surroundings. To overcome this, NGAD fighters are equipped with advanced electro-optical sensors. These aren't just any cameras, they provide a 360-degree view around the aircraft, seamlessly integrating real-time visual data with targeting information. This allows pilots to engage threats from any angle and distance, dramatically expanding their situational awareness and combat effectiveness. Furthermore, the evolution of fighter jet design now prioritizes advanced sensors over the traditional attributes of speed and agility. This strategic shift reflects a broader focus on over-the-horizon capabilities, allowing pilots to detect and engage threats from greater distances without being detected themselves. Modern fighters like those in the NGAD program emphasize these long-range sensor-based tactics, utilizing sophisticated sensor packages to maintain a tactical advantage. Central to these advanced sensor packages is the Active Electronically Scanned Array, AESA, radar technology. AESA radars offer a multitude of advantages over previous generations. These systems don't just scan the skies. They provide robust, reliable data with no mechanical moving parts, enhancing their durability and performance. They can track multiple targets simultaneously across vast volumes of airspace and even manage tasks across the electromagnetic spectrum, from surveillance to electronic warfare. Another key focus is the revolutionary weaponry that these future fighters might wield. Starting with Directed Energy Weapons, DEWs, such as lasers and microwaves, the NGAD program is considering these technologies for their cost-effectiveness and precision. DEWs offer significant advantages over traditional munitions, costing only a few dollars per shot compared to the millions spent on guided missiles. These weapons are part of ongoing research initiatives like the Air Force's Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator Program, aptly named SHIELD. However, it's important to understand that while promising, DEWs are still largely experimental and not yet fully operational. They face significant challenges, particularly in managing the immense heat they generate, which could compromise the stealth capabilities of the aircraft if not properly handled. Another challenge for DEWs is their effectiveness over long distances, where atmospheric conditions can dilute their power. Despite these hurdles, the primary envisioned role for these energy weapons is defensive, targeting incoming missiles rather than engaging ground or air targets directly. The NGAD's armaments aren't limited to directed energy weapons. The program also emphasizes the integration of larger yield, long-range missiles, reflecting a shift from the need for close combat to engaging threats from a safe distance. These missiles enhance the aircraft's ability to strike from beyond the horizon, reducing risks to the fighter while increasing its offensive reach. Furthermore, the incorporation of hypersonic weapons is under consideration. These weapons, capable of traveling faster than five times the speed of sound, are designed to penetrate modern air defenses by virtue of their sheer speed and maneuverability. Hypersonic technology is particularly notable for its potential to drastically shorten response times and increase the difficulty of interception by enemy forces. Central to the NGAD program is also the Penetrating Counter Air PCA, platform a sophisticated design aimed at overcoming current limitations in stealth fighter technology, primarily in range and payload capacity. The PCA concept is designed to push the boundaries of stealth operation, enabling fighters to carry more, travel further, and strike with precision without compromising their stealth capabilities. This is particularly crucial in vast areas like the Pacific Theater, where distances significantly affect operational capabilities. For instance, 
The range limitations of current fighters like the F-22 and F-35 are well documented, with scenarios requiring operations far beyond friendly bases, revealing a critical gap in U.S. air power projection. Complementing the PCA are the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCAs, or as some might call them, Loyal Wingman Drones. These unmanned platforms are poised to revolutionize air combat. Integrated with AI control systems, these drones extend the capabilities of manned fighters by taking on roles that significantly increase operational risk and complexity, such as deep penetration in hostile environments. They can carry additional sensors and weapons, effectively enhancing the situational awareness and strike capabilities of the entire squadron. These drones are designed to be durable and efficient, capable of engaging in air-to-air -air combat and providing additional firepower. By distributing the operational load across both manned and unmanned systems, CCAs enable a single-manned fighter to command a larger, more potent force, effectively multiplying combat effectiveness while reducing risk to human pilots. Moreover, the integration of advanced technologies in these platforms is groundbreaking. The sixth-generation fighters and their drone counterparts are expected to feature state-of-the-art sensor and data-sharing arrays that are fully integrated with space and ground-based systems. This network-centric approach allows for secure information sharing and potentially even remote control and decision-making, which could usher in an era of cloud-based, AI-assisted command systems. This technology will transform fighters into highly connected nodes that not only collect and process vast amounts of battle space data, but also act as command centers within a multi-domain operational framework. Combining manned and unmanned systems represents a new era in warfare. How effective do you think this approach will be? Comment your views. As we witness the revolutionary integration of cutting-edge technologies within the NGAD program, it's equally important to consider the financial investment required to bring these innovations to life. The U.S. Air Force is setting the stage for a major financial commitment to ensure the NGAD's success, planning to acquire approximately 200 NGAD jets at an estimated $300 million each, alongside a fleet of 1,000 unmanned drones, each costing about $30 million. The program itself is set to spend $16 billion over the next five years through 2028 on research, development, testing, and evaluation. The Air Force believes this substantial investment will be cost-effective in the long run by reducing operational costs per flying hour. The Air Force aims to complete the NGAD by 2030, have it fully operational by 2035, and phase out fifth-generation aircraft by 2040. However, with the ambitious nature of this project and the complexities involved, whether these timelines will be met remains a significant question, especially as other countries also advance their own next-generation programs. Let's not forget that many of the world's leading powers are on the brink of unveiling their sixth-generation fighters. Japan, in partnership with the UK, Italy, and Sweden, advances its global combat air program, integrating cutting-edge Japanese developments. Europe's future combat air system, led by France, Germany, and Spain, plans to replace existing fleets with a sophisticated blend of manned and unmanned systems. Russia and China are also advancing their respective programs, though with less public detail. Russia's focus is on developing a possibly semi-sixth-generation fighter and a new interceptor, while China, building on its J-20 achievements, began pre-research for its next-gen aircraft in 2019, with hopes to see results by 2035. As we wrap up this overview, it's a race against time and technology. Who will take to the skies first? One thing is certain, these ambitious projects signal a major shift in the dynamics of air combat, promising a future filled with cutting-edge advancements and tactical innovations that could redefine military strategy for decades to come.